situated on the southwest coast of Africa, lies Namibia. One of the least populated nations on the continent, it's home to just over two million people. After gaining independence from South Africa in 1990, Namibia has enjoyed relative success on the international sporting stage, having qualified for both the Cricket and Rugby Union World Cups. However, Namibia's greatest success has been in the boxing ring. When Transworld Sport last visited this country back in 2002, we spent time with Harry Simon, who'd become Namibia's first world champion. Known as the Terminator, Harry was the then reigning WBO middleweight champion. He was proud of his success, so proud that he even invited us into his bank to film him counting his money. Good afternoon. Why is it now that I'm a world champion, things have to go tough with me now? You grow up the same as I grow up. People won't give you respect. They care what Harry has done. Yet shortly after we filmed with him, Harry's career went into free fall. He was involved in a car crash which left three people dead and he suffered serious injury himself. He was found at fault for the crash and sentenced to two years in jail. Despite Harry Simon's fall from grace, Namibia continued to produce fighters who've excelled on the world stage. And on our return to the country, Transworld Sport was keen to find out more about the current state of the Namibian boxing scene. Namibia's most successful gym is the Nestor Sunshine Boxing Academy in the capital Windhoek. It's home to seven boxers, rated within the top 15 of the WBO World Rankings. Namibia's leading boxing manager and promoter, Nestor Tobias, established the gym back in 2000. This gym is, like the size of the gym is big, madame, but it's very big in spirit, like, uh, and uh, they've got a lot of committed guys, like the coaches. In sport, like in sport of boxing, you don't go to school like to, to be a coach, you know, you, 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 you must grow up with a this, with this sport. With time slots for different classes throughout the day, the Sunshine Boxing Academy is open to amateurs and professionals alike. With Nestor at the helm and with Namibia's impressive reputation on the world stage, the gym is always busy with youngsters hoping to cut it in the noble arts. We are very popular right now in Namibia. Uh, everybody knows where we are. Uh, they approach me through the coaches or through other boxers. Or they call the office, but uh, we are very committed and uh, we keep on helping this kid to grow and for sure take them from the street. Every time I come from school, I come straight to the gym. From the gym, I go home and start with my homework. And maybe I exercise for maybe one hour, then I go bath. Then I come and eat and go sleep. I learn to respect, not fight in the streets, protect myself from bad things, and responsibility. Nine-year-old Giovanni Trudis is too young to remember the feats of Harry Simon in his prime. Instead, his inspiration and the role model for many young Namibian boxers is a fighter by the name of Julius Indongo. Nicknamed the Blue Machine, Indongo is the current IBF and IBO super lightweight world champion. The 34-year-old claimed both belts with a stunning first round knockout of Russia's Eduard Trojanovsky in Moscow last December. Now all the youngsters in this gym want to be the next Julius Indongo. It feels very nice because I got the, got the old best people in our gym that I feel conf confident that they can even teach me some skills. They will make me be better when I grow up. Actually, it feels, it feels good. It's good uh, to have a champion, to have a champion when you, when you train. So my focus is just to become, to become the new champion, next champion. 
as an amateur, Ndongo represented Namibia at the 2008 Olympics, reaching the round of 32 of the lightweight division. He turned professional a year later, and to date, the Southpaw has won all 21 of his fights. Nestor believes he could become one of Africa's greatest ever fighters. The best thing is he's committed. Commitment, hard work, you know, that, that, that makes it different from other fighters. Although a world champion, Julius still lives a modest lifestyle, and there's none of the extravagance and flamboyance with him as there was with Harry Simon. Born in Windhoek, he moved north with his father to the remote Onamtai village in the Oshana region of Namibia. He moved back to Windhoek once his boxing career began to take off. Boxing is a business. Uh, this kid now, if you're a champion, you can you can you can put put on your table for the for your family. You can uh, you can you can market your country through sport like boxing. We don't have money in, in terms of sport in Namibia. Money doesn't come easy. We have to sweat for that position until we reach at the world level. As 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 now as I'm talking, I did not make money in boxing yet, but I'm facing that stage. Julius is on the verge of the big time. On April the 15th in Scotland, he faces WBA World Super Lightweight Champion Ricky Burns in an eagerly anticipated unification bout. Back in 2012, Scotland's Ricky Burns beat another Namibian fighter, Paulus Moses, for the WBO Lightweight title. Moses was also coached and managed by Nestor Tobias, and in just a few days' time, Julius and his team will be out for revenge. In my heart, myself, I knew we got a big chance. Because me, I never, I never take a fight if I know my boxer doesn't have any chance to win that fight. And I still remember the, how he moved, how he fight, how he threw punches. When I look at uh, my, 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 my boxer in Dongo, and, uh, and I convey his, his style, so it's more suitable than other, other opponents for, for Julius Indongo. Since 2012, Ricky Burns has suffered a series of setbacks and moved up a division. He's been beaten three times, and he had his jaw broken in a draw with Mexico's Raimundo Beltran. But last year, 33-year-old Burns won the vacant WBA title. He goes into the fight with Ndongo as the slight favourite. The prestigious unification contest will take place in front of the Scotsman's adoring home fans in Glasgow. But Julius and his team are confident of victory. It's not about money or what, but that achievement, it can, uh, it can add value to boxing in Namibia. I love boxing, and uh, I love facing the best. I don't like facing someone who can give up early, he must fight, because I know I'm ready to fight. And I've seen Ricky Benz fighting, but he must just expect to war. Be sure to tune in to Indongo Burns on Saturday. It looks set to be explosive. Yeah, yes, 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 yes